Hey, what's going on, y'all? We are doing a podcast today. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a podcast today, y'all. Um, I didn't plan on doing a podcast today. Um, but as y'all know, I'm a person that likes to speak from my heart. Um, I really don't plan these podcasts. I just talk about things that I know. Uh, you know, different conversations that I've had. Um, a lot of people like the way that I think, so I just want to bring some things to your attention. Maybe um, I can help you see things from another perspective. Maybe not, you know. Uh, but I just want to share some things with you guys. Today, we're going to talk about love. We're talking about love. Love, love, love. Don't you love love? Do you love love or do you hate it? The question is, is love good? Is love bad? Or is it both? Is love good? Is love bad? Or is it both? That's a real question. Okay? So, I had a conversation with a friend today. And they were saying, you know, some things. And I was just, you know, just get, trying to get them to think. Nothing else. Just, I want you to think. And the same thing with today's podcast is, I just want you to think. That's it. You know? I'm not trying to persuade you. I just want you to think. So, again, the question was, what do you think about love? Is love good or bad? Or is it both? Immediately, the person said, oh, it's both. So I asked again. I said, okay. But... Is love good or bad? Or is it both? And then they was like, well, it's good, but it can be bad, though. And I'm like, okay, but is love good, bad, or is it both? And the conversation went on. I don't like talking about personal conversations that I have with people because um, I'm all about respecting people's privacy. But... The conversation went on and I just got them to think. And I wanted to do the same thing with you guys. And I I, I I put that same question to you. Do you think love is good? Do you think love is bad? Or do you think love is both? So, I'm not even going to say what I think. And you'll probably figure out what I think once I start talking. Okay? So... Love is a emotion. It is a it is a action. It is a expression. It is a wonderful thing. That's what it's supposed to be anyway. You know? Um that's what it's supposed to be, you know? Um no offense to anybody else who doesn't you know i'm not the type to judge you should know me by now if you've been keeping up with my stuff but i do believe in god and and uh, the bible that i read it says that god is love and you know for me god is good so if god is good and god is love then love should be good but again i ask you is love good is love bad or is it both the first thing I said was love is, a, is an emotion. Love is a action. Love is a expression. You know? It's all of these things. So I think the conversation I was having earlier, I was talking to this person and I asked him, so what is love to you? And this person said, well, you know, I said, no, I said, well, why is love is good? And I said, well, pure love is, is, is good. Like, pure love is good. And I said, okay, so why is it bad? And they said, well, sometimes, you know, um, you know, people, you know, they, they you know, uh, you know, you show them love and people, like, they treat you the wrong way or, you know, the relationship don't go as good as it could be, you know, and stuff like that. And I was like, wait. I said, hold on. So, is that love? 
And they was, you know, they was kind of thinking, I'm like, did you just tell me about love? Or did you just tell me about people and relationships? Because people and relationships isn't love. That's not love at all. People are people, relationships are relationships, and love is its own thing, okay? It ain't, your experiences is not love. It's not, it's not love at all. You look up the definition of love, it ain't people, it ain't your experiences, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't relationships. That ain't love at all. Nowhere in there, nowhere to be found. So the reason why I say this is because I want you to think. When you think about love, if you say love is good, good. If you say love is bad, good. If you say love is both, good. Why though? Is it actually because of love or are you talking about something else? Because what I feel that we do and what I see that people do, and I'm sure once I you know, go more into detail, you'll agree or you'll start to understand what I'm trying to get at. We put things in front of love and then we put it together. But when we put it together, we only see what we see first is this side. And in the cracks of that, we see love in between the cracks. We see love in between the cracks of the, the things, the things that we put in front of it. And then we say, this is what love is. That's why if I ask you what if love is good or bad. You may say it's both. Well, if you think to yourself, don't let me answer the question for you, but just think to yourself, why do you say love is good or bad? If we're just talking about love and nothing else, why do you think love is good or bad? You're probably already, before I said this, you probably was like, oh, it's both because I remember I was in this perfect relationship and then such and such just did me wrong and I never did them anything. I never did anything wrong to them. Or I remember when, you know, this person did this, but you're talking about people and relationships that you had and experiences, negative experiences that you had. You haven't talked about love one time. So is love good, bad, or is it both? I want you to think about that. We... I want you to think about something. I'm sure everybody can relate to this. You probably have this wall that you put up, especially against people that you don't know. You probably have this wall that you put up to protect yourself, right? But on that wall, you know, we like to say, oh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm sure everybody who's watching this right now is like, oh no, I'll never judge you. I'm never gonna judge you. Like, I, I'm not a judger. I'm not the person to judge people. I, I don't do that. I'm the, I'm the same way. I don't, I don't judge people. I do my best to keep myself in check not to judge people. Because I have no room to do that. You know? I got my own issues just like everybody else. You know? But if we walk around with this wall, nine times out of ten, if not more than that, that wall that is created is built off of negative experiences, not positive experiences. Bad relationships being mistreated, abuse, anxiety, depression, you know, all this, all the death, you know, uh, things not going your way. Uh, this is the wall that we carry around with us. And when we walk around with these negative walls, when we meet somebody, immediately, subconsciously, without us even thinking about it, we say we're not judging that person, but if we're walking around with these negative walls, we are automatically judging that person based off of our experiences. And I know, cause I've done it. I've done it. We judge people based off of our experiences. It's nothing that that person did to you. You don't even know this person, but you're just looking at that person and you're judging them based off of your, your negative experiences, or you're judging them based off of somebody else who you think is like them and you're saying you're probably just like this person now you're judging another human being based off a whole nother human being who are two different people who are nothing alike don't probably don't even know each other you know because we walk around with this wall trying to protect ourselves but let me tell you negativity ne a negative wall is never going to protect you from negative things 
Never. A positive wall will. A positive wall will. Okay? So, let me get back on the track. Again, when we walk around with this negative wall, we look at a person. Let's say you meet me for the first time. Before you knew who I was, before you knew what I stand for, before you knew about the brand, all of that, when you looked at me, if you saw me or whatever, or let's say you knew I wanted to talk to you, like, you know, it's like, oh boy, this, 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 this guy's going to come over and try to talk to me. What are the thoughts going through your mind? When it's a random person that's coming up and you can tell they're about to talk to you, what are the thoughts going through your mind? Are you looking through that negative wall and putting all that negative stuff on there? So this is the way I explain it to my friend. I'm like, we got this negative wall, right? And on this negative wall, we got a whole bunch of like negative words that's on this wall. And within that wall, we have a window. Well, what happens is the person, the person that you never met and they never met you, they can't see that wall. They don't know that that, that wall is there. But you do know it's there and you can see it. And the side that you're looking at is nothing but negativity with negative experiences and bad experiences that you think, if I put this wall up, it's gonna protect me so I won't deal with the same thing again, right? But in that wall, you have a mirror so you can see the person on the other side. Well, when you look at that person, all that negative stuff comes off of that wall, sticks on to that person. And just like I said earlier, just like how we do love, we put stuff in front of love and then we got love right here and we do like this, we open up the cracks and we see all the all the whatever we put in front of it and then love behind it through the cracks it's the same thing we put all this stuff on people and then we see that person through the cracks of our negative experiences and the wall that we put up so now this person already has a 50 percent chance of being a part of your life or not being a part of your life and and that that was before the wall with the wall that 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 the chances dropped down to like 30 percent if not more <laughs> if not more so with that said is love good bad or is it both are you judging love based off of the things that you're putting in front of love or are you judging love based off love itself can you take the time to go in your mind and just say, simplify it, simplify it. Don't think about your experiences. Don't think about none of that. Is love good? So I'm gonna go ahead and give my, my answer. Love is good. It cannot be bad and it cannot be both. The reason is, is because when this universe was created, when everything was created, it was created not to have a great area, especially powerful things like love and hate. Love and hate cannot mix. It don't happen. It's either love or it's hate. Just like light and darkness. Light and darkness, it can't mix. When you turn the light on, darkness disperse. It cannot mix. And if you see a shadow, that's something that's blocking the light which creates darkness. But it still doesn't mix. Because on the other side, it's light. <laughs> it's light. So it don't mix. It, and it never will. Just like love and hate. Love and hate, it can't mix. So how can love be good and bad? Love is, is, is a positive thing. And it cannot mix with something negative. It can't. Even positive and negative can't, can't mix. It can't mix. On a battery, positive and negative has to be on two different sides. On a magnet, positive and negative has to be on two different sides. When you're looking at, like, to, to charge your car, boost a car, positive and negative has to be on, it cannot mix. It doesn't work that way. Just like love and hate, it can't mix. It can't. It's impossible for it to mix. It's because love is either going to change the hate or hate. Now, I, I you can't do that. Love can change the hate, and hate can change the love, but it can't be both. It cannot be both. It can't. It's, it is impossible for it to be both. So again, is love good, bad, or both? You know? And maybe you don't believe me. You're like, oh, man, no, nah, man, it's both. It's both. I don't care what you're saying. Okay. Well, if you, well take the things your experiences 
from out of in front of love and just look at love itself look at love itself nothing else look at love itself it is a expression it is a emotion it is a action when you feel love you feel good you don't feel bad when you feel love oh man this person love me i hate that you you when you feel love when you are shown love when somebody does a random act of kindness to show you love you feel good you feel good man it's because it's it is good it's a positive thing it's something that's good you know if i come and and let's say you dealing with something and i come and i've been your friend for a good long time and i just come and give you a hug and say i love you you that's gonna make you feel good now let's say you're going through a bad time and i come up to you and i punch you in your face when you're going through a bad time and i just punch you in your face and i say i hate you you're not gonna feel good love is something that's good and it's not meant to make you feel bad what happens is we quote unquote fall in love or find love within a person and then we have negative experiences and we say well i should have never fell in love with this person or i knew i shouldn't have never loved you or i hate you now that hate that you have the dislike the dislikeness that you have is no longer love at all it's dislikeness and it's hate so that's not love that's a negative experience that you put in front of love you put it together and you said this is what love is but even though i put these together it's still two different things no matter how close they may be it's still love and your your negative experiences it's two different things you can put it in front of it all you want but love is still good love is still good man love is still good so i want y'all to think about that man just think about it think about it i remember i was uh i was doing spoken word poetry in one place and i was telling people about it was these married people I ain't, i've never been married it was these i was single at the time i'm single now it was these married people these older people way older than me way older than me right and I was talking to them, I'm like, look, man, because they were talking about relationships. And I was saying, y'all know what the issue is? Y'all know what the issue is? The issue is, is people put this imaginary person in front of a real person. And they try to, they try to make this imaginary person be the real person. And it don't work out. And then they find it, they find out that, oh man, I really don't like this person. But that's not the problem. The issue is, is you put an imaginary person in front of a real person. This is what I mean. Let's say you are, let's say I'm the type that likes a girl to have long hair. She got to be like looking, she got to be like a, a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. She got to like have like the most good looking clothes. She got to like talk a certain way. She got to have like a certain amount of money, be able to take care of herself. Like perfect smile, beautiful eyes, like good skin, very like nice complexion, like keep up with herself very well blah 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 all this amazing stuff right and then i see another i see there's another girl right let's say it's, it's another girl maybe she don't meet all of those that standard that i want maybe she don't meet all of those desires that i want right maybe she don't meet all of it but maybe she's real sweet kind-hearted like meek humble person like every time we talk it's a good conversation a good conversation is very intellectual like like she loves to do things I do. We got a lot in common, but the looks ain't the long. Maybe her hair ain't long. Maybe she has some acne in certain places. Maybe uh, she don't have the nicest clothes because she she's working to get her degree right now and money tight. And I'm just like, nah, I can't be with her. You know, I can't be with her. Or you know, I'm saying I can't be with her because she don't meet those standards. Or let's say, you know what? I'm gonna give her a shot. But I'm gonna try to make her become all of those things that I want because she's she's good on the other side. She just don't have all the outside stuff the way I want. So I'm gonna try to make her become that, right? And let's say we get together, and the first few months I'm I'm cool, you know, I'm cool because I'm like, you know, I gotta let her be herself, you know. I ain't, I don't want to like push her too early. I don't want to make it too hard on her, right? And then let's say six months pass by, and I'm like, hey, look, 
You know, I like girls with long hair, so I need you to get long hair. And I, I'm gonna need you to, I need you to grow that hair out. You know, or yo ask me like it's always been a problem. It was cool at first because you was a, a good person, but I don't like. I'm really not feeling your acne right now, like you know. Or and these are things that I'm expressing to her out loud. Now here's the issue: what we do a lot of times is the things that we want, we don't even express it to that person. We keep it to ourselves. And we talk about the person that we quote unquote supposed to love and care about, we are talking about them. Like to ourselves, just like, oh man, I could do better than that. I just, I'm just, man, I ain't even worried about her, man. You know, like anytime they, maybe you have a disagreement, there you go, you thinking like, oh man. It's because you have this imaginary person that you want in front of this real person. And since that imagine, like you have them right here in front of each other, they they are in line, but they look different. They look different because they you you want so much to have all of this that you're you're forgetting forgetting about how amazing that person was and the reason why you got with him in the first place. Like you don't just you didn't just get in a relationship just to be in a relationship like you it was something that you wanted like it was something that you wanted you wanted a relationship you saw that person you saw that they had the all these qualities but you saw that they didn't have everything that you wanted and then you was like oh you know what i could deal with it but really you couldn't because you you put this you already had when you met that person you already had that imaginary person that you wanted and you was like you know what this is the closest thing i can get to it now i'm gonna try to make them become that and then when you have a bad experience, you blame it on love. Say that the love wasn't real. Say that that person wasn't good enough. Say that that person didn't care about you enough, didn't love you enough. And then you put those experiences in front of love, you know? Or, I mean, this can go so many ways, man. This can go so many ways. I just want y'all to think, man. I just want you to really think. I want you to really comprehend that, you know? Like, man, you, you take away love you take away the things that you have in front of love your negative experiences your bad relationships and you just think about love itself and think about how beautiful love is man it is so freaking beautiful and it's so good and it's so positive you know it is so i want you to remember that man and the next time you see a person give them a chance and the way you give them a chance is by not putting your past on that person. Because another thing that we do is, you could probably look at me and be like, et cetera, I'm never going to judge you by your past. And I'll accept that. And honestly, I, I'll believe that you won't. I believe that you will never judge me by my past. But let me tell you something else I do believe. The thing that you will judge me by is your past. And maybe that don't make sense to you, so let me explain. Those same negative experiences when I ask you the question if love is good or bad and you say it both or you say it bad, if you said that it's because of experiences, it's not because of love. Because love is nothing but good. So we do the same thing with people. Like we'll put our past and we'll judge that person. You'll judge me off of your past. Not my past, you'll judge me or somebody or just somebody random person off of your past you know maybe i say something and it reminds you of somebody else now you're judging me off of that person and it ain't even about me you know it reminded you of somebody but that don't mean i've actually done the thing it just reminded you of that person you know or whatever the case is like it's it's so many ways this can go y'all it's so many ways this can go but the main thing I want to make sure I let everybody know is love is good, y'all. Love cannot be good and bad because light and darkness can never mix. Love and hate can never mix. It is not made that way and it never will be that way. Love, your emotions can change to hate and hate can change to love, you know? But love, just because your emotions change doesn't mean love change. Just because your experience change or your relationship change doesn't mean that love change. And if you don't believe me, let me let me help you think about this. The same person that you had a bad relationship with, 
most likely you still got love for that person. The reason why you still got love for that person is because love never changed. It's not because of the amount of time you spend with that person. It's not because of all the good stuff that person did for you. It's because love never changes, man. It's good. It's not bad. That's why even a person that you don't even like anymore, you don't want in your life anymore, you still can have love for that person. It's because love never changed. And it's also because love and hate can never mix. It's impossible. It never will happen. Never. So, you know, I know you know the phrase, you know, you can't love somebody else until you love yourself. Love yourself. And let me tell you how to love yourself. Stop judging yourself. Stop judging yourself. Judge yourself when you need to. But there's a time when you need to just love where in the love the position that you're at now. Realize your mistakes. Once you realize your mistakes, say, okay, I'm gonna do this to fix it, I'm gonna do this to fix it, I'm gonna do this to change, it. I'm gonna do this to change. It. That's the judging process. But before that, before you do that, you need to love yourself and say, you know what? I may be this, but I'm this. I may be this, but I'm this. I may be doing this, but I'm not doing this. I may be doing this, but I'm not doing that. Love yourself, man. Love yourself every day. And then when that moment time comes after that, look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? All those things I don't like about myself, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to do something about it. And I'm going to start today. I may not get it today. It may not be complete today, but I'm going to start today. And one night, it's going to happen. And then the next night, it's going to happen. And then the next day, it's going to happen. And the next day, it's going to happen. And the next day, it's going to happen. But keep pushing and keep trying. Those things that you, those insecurities that you have, love yourself. So those insecurities don't hold you back. So you don't put those insecurities in front of the person that you really are. The amazing person that you really are. Love yourself. So 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 you don't look down upon yourself and fall into a, a depressed state. Love yourself because love is good. Love is positive. Love is love. Love yourself first. Judge yourself accordingly. Fix those things. And when you meet somebody new, instead of putting your past and putting your experience in front of that person, open your arms wide with nothing but love. Put that first. Put that first. We, we know right now in the year 2020 right now that it's a lot of racist stuff being being. Uh, 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 shined on with this spotlight, you know, all of these, all of these people that we didn't know, races we finding out, all of these different groups and stuff coming out, you know, races. You know what racism is? It's hate. You know how you change that with love. People hate the way I look because of one thing: the color of my skin. But if they came to me with just love at first, if they put love in front of me. Instead of the color of my skin and what's different from them, if they put nothing but love in front of me and, th and they embraced me with love, they would see that I'm just like them. I'm just like them. I'm no better than them. I'm not above them. I'm not below them. I'm just like them. I got to live in the same world that they live in, go through the same things that they go through, experience the things that they go through. But you know what? I have enough in my heart not to choose hate, but to choose love. Even the people who are racist against me and my people, I still have to choose love first, man. Because if I don't, then I turn into the very thing that I don't want to be. So look, y'all. Next time somebody asks you, next time you think about love, is it good, is it bad, or is it both? It's good. I want you to know that. It's good. And if you don't believe me, take love, wipe off all of those bad experiences, those bad relationships, those negative thoughts, and look at love for what it is. Love is not a person. Love is not a relationship. Love is not some negative thing that you've been through. Love is nothing but good. It's an expression. It is a feeling. It is a action. Like I said, when you feel love, you feel good. When you express love, you feel good. 
And when somebody shows you love, you feel good. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for joining in on my podcast about love today. Um, it's going to be short and sweet. Um, I could go more into details, but look, y'all, uh, be sure to comment. I want you guys to leave questions on my on my, uh, on my my uh, podcast. Uh, leave questions. Leave comments. Tell me what you – tell me – give me a topic you want me to talk about. Give me a topic you want me to talk about. Like, I would love to – to for you guys for your guys' uh, input on things you want me to talk about uh, you know this is just a conversation that I had today I really didn't go into detail uh, because I'm all about respecting people's privacy um, and 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 respecting you know uh, you know the conversations that I have with people um, but if you want me to go more into detail um, you know you can always message me or you know, just say, hey, I want I want you to go more into detail on another podcast. Do a part two. But let me know what you guys want me to talk about, man. I'm going to be doing these podcasts regularly, y'all. I'm going to be doing these podcasts regularly. But the main thing, if I, if I don't get you to, to, to understand anything else, the main thing I want you to know is love is good. It's nothing but good. Because love and hate cannot mix. It has to be separate. So you can't call love bad. Because it's only good. It's only good. But yeah, uh, appreciate y'all joining in. Um, I'm going to be having a lot of... It's my birthday month, y'all. It's my birthday month. Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to be having a lot of podcasts coming out this month. So uh, I'm probably going to be doing a, podca a live podcast uh, every week. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with a lot of podcasts on YouTube, on Anchor.fm, on Spotify, on Apple uh, podcast on Google Podcast uh, all this month, so be sure to be on the lookout for that, y'all. Uh, today is September the fifth. There's also my protest today, y'all. My protest today for my people. My protest today to make this world a better place, to make the city of Austin, Texas, a better place. Uh, it's at seven o'clock today at Mutilay Park. Make sure that you be there. If you come, make sure you bring a, a, a good sign with, with a lot of meaning, um, even if it just says Black Lives Matter, you know. Um, and, and if you can't be there, be sure to tune in 7 p.m. Central Time, y'all. 7 p.m. Central Time. Be sure to tune, tune in uh, on my live stream. I'll be live today. I got a new mic, y'all. I got a new mic, so y'all should like be hearing me because my camera, it looks close, but it's not close. So, y'all should hear me very well. I got a new mic today. Um, I'm loving. I'm loving how it sounded. I got on live earlier, did a thing. But yeah, y'all, it's etc. Podcast. Thank you so much for joining in. And look, if nobody's told you today, I want to be the first to tell you that. Truly, I appreciate you. I appreciate the time that you took out of your day to come and listen to this podcast. And I love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, if you don't know too. Uh, I've now, like, we're not etc. fam, we're not the etc. crew, or whatever. We are the etc. pack. So, thank you guys so much for being a part of this etc. pack. Y'all have an amazing and wonderful day. See y'all later.